right, yes, hi all, welcome, welcome, here we go. Sinclair C5 project, and boom, DeLorean. Um, yes, thank you very much to a few people, first of all. So, first of all, Dan B, thank you very much for selling me this project, Sinclair, really appreciate it, um, good man. Thank you very much to Darren O for collecting it for me as well. And he was down in Bournemouth, and um, we had a little chat, and he said, yeah, you can collect it. And so I really appreciate you collecting it for me, Darren. Thank you very much for that. And finally, as well, to Chaz, who actually, um, who sadly passed away um, last year, late last year. We, we all appreciate you, Chaz, what you did with the Sinclair C5 world and community over the years. So thank you very much. And this is indeed a next Chaz produced Sinclair C5 with twin motors. So yeah, thank you all to you, to you three. I uh, appreciate you all. Anyway, back to this, back to the Sinclair now. So it's a white boot model, as you see. This is one of the one of the late models. Um, it looks quite clean on video, and actually, it's pretty clean in in sort of real life as well. Um, bit of yellowing on there. Obviously, something's been resting in there. But I've had it around the body, and it's pretty it's pretty damn sweet. Got a little bit of stress mark just going on there, but something's been on it at some point. Bit of yellowing, but looks like it's been covered over, you know, and kept um kept clean the boot lid is really good condition a few bits of marks and stuff just here otherwise it's been absolutely absolutely sweet um it's definitely a project it definitely needs a lot of work but that's exactly as, as i expected um serial number wise there's hardly anything left i'll have a closer look but it looks like it's an october 85 model it's one of the very very last ones um has got that piece there for it it's obviously got no electronics here because of course it's a custom system. Um, things like this are absolutely fabulous. This is this is pretty pretty reasonable on here as well. Um, three few three D printed parts here. Really nice original indicators at the back and the seals. Those are those are lovely. Um, front ones here are Land Rover style ones with a black seal on, but still good. Original mirrors which look very nice with a reproduction. Um, three D early three D printed brackets which are which are fine. Headlight looks lovely, a few little scratches, but pretty damn sweet. Reflection, the reflector looks amazing. These, I feel, are reproduction stickers. They just don't look right. So those are definitely going to be coming off at some point. Um, as soon as someone like Graham nails the perfect colour and sticky reproductions. Again, the red the red stickers, they'll be coming off as well. So red, the red, red's just not my sort of thing at all. I like to have, I know this C5 is modified, but I like to have it um, looking original on the outside. Um, cover's really nice on there. It's um, got it's got two straps in there. So it potentially might have been a tw twin model, twin batch model at some point, although the sticker's not there, but it might have possibly been, or they might have just added it in because it's got the fact it's got two motors on. Um, it's got very likely chairs reproduction mud flaps because they're quite firm, so they look original, but they're not, they're not absolutely perfect. But mainly the flexibility is not original, so I'd say that those are chairs ones, which is cool. Twin motors, um, obviously the key part of this one. Now, obviously, a lot of people these days are doing so. A lot of people who are, who are in the know are doing do a single motor, sorry, with 24 volts, which is amazing. This one is obviously more old fashioned with the twin motors, which might be handy for, you know, of course, someone who's a bit heavier, um, a bit more torque potentially. Um, so who, yeah, who knows, but either way, it's a cool setup, you know. Um, so it's got all the bits on this one. This one is obviously missing the drive gear. It looks like it's got a 3D printed um, output shaft as well. And Dan did mention some sort of 3D parts on it. Same as this one here. Um, it's got original brake on the back. These are saying looking pretty um, clean condition on the outside. Obviously a little bit of wiring in there. This, the hoop looks lovely, satin black, lovely. Could be original potentially. Um, I'm liking that a lot. And um, boots again, very, very nice. Nice sticker on there as well. Headlight is lovely. Look underneath here, this is nice. Lift up carefully so don't break the mud flaps off. But this is absolutely lovely. So that's just basically sand and dirt. And when I look past that, I'm seeing a lovely glossy chassis, which is either being restored really nicely or it's original. I'm hoping it's original. I'll, when I have a good close look at it, I'll be able to tell. I should be able to tell if I can sort of see rubbing down marks or if it does look glossy and original. But that's, that looks really, apart from the dirt, yeah, that looks really nice. Obviously, it's got some corrosion on the steering bar there. So that is cleaning up and um, lacquering, yeah. painting and lacquering. 
um, potentially a modified chain, well, certainly modified on the chain tensioner. And I'd imagine that's a completely homemade chain tensioner. It sort of looks like it, that's all from the thickness of it. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Again, all of that and all those parts there, they look really, really good condition. So it wouldn't surprise me if this chassis is potentially original, I know, and um, original paint. It's really nice. There's the bracket, there's the sort of motor plate there. Oh yeah, and it's got um, Chaz's bracket on here as well, which um, I, cause I've got one of these on my Sinclair. I, I bought the whole fork from him with um, the bracket on for the disc. Doesn't have the front wheel cap, which is unfortunate, so I will need to source one of those. So I'll ask a few people about, about that at some point. Um, maybe even a 3D printed one just for a laugh. Mr. Graham, we shall see what we're, going, we're doing. Um, I'll also tidy up the welds on that and have a quick look at that because I want, I want to repaint this fork as well you know, before it comes back together again. But that's the same. That probably is the same as what I've got in my Sinclair, which is a, case, is a Chaz fork. So I should be able to purchase all those parts. No, hopefully no drama, I don't think. So yes, it's basically, yeah, it's, it's a good, really, really good project. You know, so yeah, thank you all for looking at the video. Please do hit that like button. Oh, and last part, um, probably Dan looks like it potentially is hollowed out for some indicators sort of uh, on here, which is a really nice touch. So I don't know what it looked like. I don't know what's behind it, but yeah, we'll, we shall see over the next um, few weeks as I sort of start to um, work on it. Cool. Thanks all. Cheers. Right, and yeah, just for a laugh, what I've done is I've just um, put a new inner tube on the left-hand side as that is uh, completely ripped up. At least I can move the Sinclair around. And I thought, literally, I'm just going to connect the battery up just for fun, just to see. So hopefully it comes across on the video. And I've literally not touched it at all. This is literally completely the first time I put, I put um, power on. So I put the sink there completely in the air on both wheels, just in case, you know, the whole thing sort of moves. And so this is, a, this is the absolute first time I've done nothing at all to it. Now bear in mind that obviously that um, Chaz would have rebuilt these motors, you know, a number of years ago. Um, so that I know that the grease is very unlikely to be dry. But I'm just trying it out just a little bit. So. so that's that one. Let's try the other one as well. And there's the other one. Obviously that one there is not attached to anything, there's no belt on it. That's cool, that's cool. See, I'm gonna go and see now if I can, um, I should, I'm pretty damn sure I've got another one of those, one of these, these pulleys. If I have, I'm gonna, I'll take the wheel off, just, just stick it on, I'll put a belt on. Just, right, and this is the last bit for now. So what I've done is I've put a new drive cog on the left on the left hand side um and a, just a used belt and literally just connected up the wires together so i checked each one separately all good and yeah and then combined <laughs> so yeah that's good Um, it's just, just a bit of fun that's all at the moment so i will be doing a full full rebuild of all of this stuff i just wanted to see that's all how the two operate together that's all right yep yeah, and that'll do for the moment i think that is it thanks all for watching and yeah watch out for the future videos thank you